we're comparing three different budgets for a lure fishing setup for bass today uh, from that to that to that even <laughs> sometimes by spending a little bit more on your setup you can get a bigger gain uh, and that's what we really wanted to concentrate on today so three different budgets and that's including the braid and things like that as well um, not the lures though that's something else entirely but I hope you have a look at this and see which might be suitable for you we're not so late in the year that uh, lure fishing's been ruled out I've certainly had bass well into December as well so uh, it's not too late. If you're after a new lure rod, now might be a good time to get one. If not, maybe something to look forward to in the spring and in 2021. So we're going to kick off with our budget set. This is enough really just to get us out and fishing. Um, it's not amazing, but I tell you what, you can get quite a bit for 65 quid. And this is enough really for your rod, your reel, some line uh, and a bit of fluorocarbon. That first lure can be cast into the sea. Uh, we're actually looking here at a Daiwa Sweepfire fixed ball, and in many ways, it's I mean it's the same design as the more expensive Shimano that we're going to look at later. Um, it's just £550 cheaper. <laughs> so what do you actually get for your money? I mean, you can see on this one here, we're actually using braid, but I'd suggest maybe start with mono on your this sort of reel when you're first starting off. You can see the advantages of braid as you continue on your lure fishing journey but but for this one take a look at the Daiwa sensor uh, round about 15 pound lines good for these south coast marks that we fish and have on the channel regularly so you've got a button for the drag on the front there and obviously this isn't going to be as well machined as some of the other reels we look at um, but it's still a drag and it still works um, I'm not quite sure a big fish might <laughs> big fish might blow that out a little bit and it gets a bit wobbly halfway through but I mean it's still got a front facing drag on it which is what you want this is actually a 2500 size reel um, all my lure fishing reels will be about 2500 um, might be a bit small for some of you in the west country or fishing deeper marks particularly if you're fishing the boat uh, we'll have another look at what you might want later with that but yeah what you're paying for here is the cheaper materials it's got a real sort of plasticky feel um, and it's a little bit heavier as well and it makes all the difference if you're fishing all day uh, but this one's been in the tackle bag a bit it's like a spare reel but i think the more experienced you get you will be looking for something a little bit smoother and although you'll come across a lot of amazon brands in this sort of price bracket um, i would stick with either Daiwa or shimano uh, the shimano equivalent is the sienna uh, it comes up at about 25 pounds but stick with the major brands and there you go if you look after something like this it's all right now i don't know if you saw at the start of the video uh, we spun the handle of our top rated reel well you can spin the handle on this one and it does turn <laughs> but what what more do you want for 15 20 odd quid so i'll leave a link for all of the tackle we're looking at today underneath something to look out for is the back wind on the handle if the handle you turn the handle the normal way, turn it back again, there should be no give and no slack in there. And even on this reel, it's not too bad at all. Got quite a good choice of rods as well. The Abu Garcia Devil spin rods are a good range. You can even get that Shimano FX XT and the H2O Rockfish as well. Um, just have a little look at the sizes there. I mean, something about seven foot. Uh, if you're fishing from the shores, okay, eight's all right. I prefer a nine when I'm fishing around the bigger boulders and um, just need to play fish and, and what have you. But a lot of people swear by six, seven, eight, nine foot rods, ten foot even. But around about seven foot should be absolutely fine as an entry level rod. And then again, as you get more experienced, uh, you can appreciate the difference between having a slightly longer, lighter rod as well a longer rod and then spending a bit more get it even lighter as well so again i'd stick to main brands here i've got this dial a mega force bass uh this was a 25 don't think they do this anymore um but it's enough to cast these 20 gram weights and it's all it's all in the feel really um i'm just bending it here and you can see ah, oh, yeah i don't trust it <laughs> um now i'm not going to pretend to know exactly how the weave works on these what the percentage of glass and carbon but I would imagine a rod like this you're really looking at mostly glass there which makes it 
not quite as strong as a carbon rod, uh, a little bit heavier, and it's just about the feel and the balance. So when you hold this rod in your hand, the balance of this rod is, is not quite good enough. But that said, you get a basic reel seat. The plastic's not as good as some of the other rods we'll look at. But again, it's enough to get you out fishing. Now we're moving into what's really an intermediate price uh, brand here. Still under £200. We're going to spend about 100 120 on a rod here. And then save about 80 quid for the reel. And you're really going to see a significant jump in quality in both the rod and reel uh, in this section. Uh, this is my go-to rod actually at the moment. It's a favourite. It's a nine foot, as we were saying earlier, uh, which is a good length. And you're getting a much better blank for this and much better fittings as well. And when you look at these fittings, particularly next to the cheaper type of rod, you can see although they're plastic fittings on here, it's just a much better quality plastic. And you can see here with the two next to each other, uh, the real seat just works out a little bit better, feels nicer. Another significant thing is the blank itself is a lot sort of slimmer, uh, makes it easier to hold, and particularly if you're fishing all day, little touches like that really are quite helpful. It's going to be a, a little bit lighter as well, which you'll start to notice when you fish a lot. So using lure fishing for bass, this is a like a dedicated bass website. They're not paying me <laughs> for this video, um, but it's one of, one of the websites to check out if you're after new gear for bass. So I think I paid eighty pounds for this rod. Uh, you can see that the eyes on it, uh, the rod ring eyes, are smaller. Again, as I was saying earlier, I'm not quite sure exactly of the materials in these rods and how they blend in uh, carbon particularly. But I would imagine with this sort of rod, uh, the percentage of carbon is a lot higher. And it's really about where the action kicks in as well. So uh, the rod we're looking at here has got uh, what they call a moderate fast action. Um, just think about where the power comes on and where it starts to bend sense the power of where it is in the rod so you might have a tip that bends nicely it's still quite strong and you can feel that tension building when you have a fish on in your right hand if you're right-handed um, you can feel feel it really well and actually in this rod another difference in this rod so i've got a j13 on uh, you can tell when a j13 is moving left and right because it's a jointed plug with this setup with the braid obviously and a light 2500 reel you can feel when it's moving left and right and left and right and it's really sensitive on the tip and you're not going to get that with a super budget rod you're just not going to feel it as well so certainly worth spending a little bit more money on these better quality rod rings as well um, it's not telling me they're fuji but i think they might be less likely to crack and corrode and the materials the metal materials in those are better as well and i'm a lot more confident bending this rod as well not like the previous one we'll conclude at the end but i think really uh, there is a bit of a sweet spot here with these rods you can spend a little bit more on a rod and get a lot more for your money the braid on this style rod so you're looking at eight strand braid for this the major craft i think it's a, a light green color i tend to favor uh, or the suffix pro 8 so you're spending about 20 odd pounds i don't know why i always choose green uh, i just do really seems to be the most sort of organic color i suppose now i know it's a silly thing <laughs> spinning the handle on this reel so our mid-range reel still going to be a 2500 size and i favor the sedona i just think it's a sweet spot money wise as well uh, you do spend a little bit more let's have a look at what you get you're going to get a better spool some sort of metal alloy spool again sorry not up with the technical details there the drag itself is going to work a lot better than your 15 20 pound reel and you're getting a Sedona for about 60, 65 quid. Bail arm clicks over a lot more nicely. And this one has been totally abused. I've even had this out in the kayak for half a season. So it's got salt water on it. Always wash it down afterwards. I'm not particularly good at looking after my reels. Every material has got a slight upgrade when you get to this level. Things get pretty ridiculous with the sealed reels that we're going to look at later. Now the gearing in this is using the Shimano's. They call it the Hagain, I think. And this type of uh, gearing this is the lowest price reel that will have that again gearing in it um, so again it's a bit of a sweet spot for what you spend your money on i really do rate these sedonas um, i love shimano anyway part of the reason i like these and it's just a simple one really is that the cap for your drag the front drag uh, just really is easy to do with one hand <laughs> So you just, uh, the one-handed drag, the shape of it just suits my hands, my big clumsy fat hands. Um, but it suits it really well. You can just uh, tweak it while you've even got a fish on using the same hand that you're holding the rod and reel with. 
the line lays much better on these as well when you're spending a little bit more money less likely to tangle uh, the roller on the bail arm uh, works better with braid it's more specifically designed to take braid as well whereas the cheaper reel we looked at previously not so good so to summarize a big jump up because the materials are better it's got that gearing the spool is more robust lasts longer it's not a sealed reel but it'll still repel a lot more water from getting inside it as well uh, because of the tightness of that spool and all the fittings so yeah i'm a fan of the sedona i'll keep buying these uh, if you want to look link to them have a look underneath now we're really moving on to something quite special now this is our top tier of lure rod setup for bass and this particular reel was actually a shimano stella uh, you can see the shimano theme here however this is a 550 pound reel uh, and this really is high end it's pretty much the best you can get uh, 2500 3000 size we're actually looking at a 4000 size reel here well you can just tell in it everything that we've looked at so far it's just the top end of that really this is a fully sealed reel as well so in theory you wouldn't want to do it too much but you could just dunk it in salt water and as long as you're rinsing it off afterwards after each trip uh, this will last for years and you get no salt water corrosion getting into that reel uh, whether you actually want to do that on purpose though uh, is another thing so say so this is a 4000 size reel that we're using as an example i've actually borrowed this one uh, along with the rod as well for for our top end and it's got 13 bearings in it uh, so it's just so smooth uh, the line lay is even better than the sedona uh, by some margin it's a slightly bigger spool here we're looking at the 4000 version uh, but line lay is absolutely perfect uh, this is a 120 pound braid on here as well so exactly every 10 meters the braid changes colors here and that allows you to know how deep the fish are obviously not something that we would use from the shore this uh, but if you're using your lure rods for vertical jigging in the boat with a slightly uprated rod which we're going to have a look at uh, this could be the one for you and again at the top end dial we'll have the saltiga reels as well uh, the older brand Zenos are very good all sealed reels top end stuff i quite like the look of these van style reels as well i know a few people that use these particularly from the kayak properly sealed uh, and they look amazing don't they as well uh, again some links for those down down the bottom as well as for the rod uh, again we've got a 650 pound rod here this is the tenru uh, bulldog puppy uh, it's a little bit overpowered for some of the beach fishing that we do uh, but i know uh, the owner of this rod's actually had a 17 pound bass on it and you imagine this is just a light lure rod what that might feel like and you're also going to notice those smaller pollocks on here uh, vertical jigging from the boat the Tenru uh, injection SP73 uh, is a bit of a dream rod uh, it's a three piece 5 to 28 gram and it's only seven foot three uh, but that thing would be unbelievable from the shore It'd be a fantastic rod to get uh, my personal favorite though which i've only picked up and never fished with but a dream rod for me would be the uh, shimano excellence infinity uh, they do that in a 5 to 32 gram i'd prefer like a 9 foot 6 or even this uh, 9 foot version 5 to 32 grams um, to me that would be an amazing rod to have so I don't know if you've noticed we hold all three rods up. You can just see the difference in the action. Uh, that red Tenru one is on the right hand side there and it's just so, you see how the tip is flexible but the power is there. They are so strong, absolutely powerful rods. So something really, really special there. Look at those rod rings on that, lovely. Beautiful, it's an absolutely fantastic rod. Obviously all the fittings as well, top notch certainly fuji fittings on this all salt waterproof won't be any corrosion on those i think as we go through these i think the sweep spot has got to be maybe spending about 180 quid but if you do have the extra money uh, and you really want to appreciate the good quality then this sort of setup could be for you this is a 4000 size reel and it's just a smidgen over 200 grams anyway just so well balanced as well as i say just concluding here really you're paying a lot for that beautifully balanced rod and reel there the uh, rod itself <laughs> the rod itself doesn't weigh much more than 100 grams so 
you certainly could fish all day. In terms of casting, um, it will cast the lure out further. You're a little bit um, restricted by the type of lure, but um, really it's more about the weight and the balance for these top end rods. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I'd uh, be interested to know if you've fished with any of these rods or reels or there's anything that you can recommend. I'm certainly not an expert at this upper end of the, the market, uh, but hopefully that gives us a little bit of a starting place if you're looking at a lure rod and reel combination in the UK. Please do subscribe if you haven't done and uh, you can press the bell icon as well and that way you'll get notifications of future videos.